Hi guys, it's Blue Games here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your mods folder after the recent update. So, uh, if you watched my video how to upgrade your LSPDFR to the newest update, which was 2545, you will um, know that I told you not to leave your mods folder in your directory or you get the infinite loading screen. So, this is going to be a fix how to fix the infinite loading screen and update your mods folder. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you right into the video. Alrighty, so to get started, we're going to make sure you have OpenIV downloaded and installed. So just hit this download button, follow the directions, open it. Uh, once you have it installed, it'll just show up right here. Uh, if you need to know how to install um, OpenIV, go ahead and just search up a video on YouTube. Or I could, you can comment down below and I'll show you how to in another video. But you need that um, just, just in case you have add-on folders. Or add on cars in your mods folder. Uh, make sure you get this leap adjuster also. So let's hit the download button. Hit download. It'll show up right here. And then go to the second download, which is the pack file limiter adjuster. Uh, same thing, hit download and download. This is just an, I recommend having this even if you're just doing a replace cars. It's good to have. So you can, um, if you, down the road, if you added, um, add-on cars, you will already be in your game. So that's good. And then to fix the unwanted loading screen, if you have on, on um, add-on cars, you're going to want this config. This actually just came out yesterday, I believe. So this is a good one to have. So it is for the newest version right there, as you can tell. So I'll go ahead and hit download. Download and I'll go ahead and download. You are gonna need a Renrar to open these, but a link in the description for Renrar also. So once you download everything, just um go to your downloads folder. Don't worry about any of these. So you see the gestures and then the config. Go ahead and go back to your directory. So to get to that, either if you have the Rage hook plugin, right click and go to open file location. It'll bring you to your directory. Or if you have it for Steam, you can um, open up Steam. I don't have Steam open, so it's going to be a second. Come on, Steam. Come on, buddy. There you go. So if you have Steam, just go and type in Graph Theft Auto here. Right click it, properties, local files, and hit browse. That's going to bring you to your local files right here. What I mean, if you watched my other video, I'm sure you know that. And then I'll put in the description where it could be for you. So once you're in your directory, you have your mods folder right here. And if you're having the, on the infinite loading screen, this is what you're going to need to do. So first things first, go to this um, HEP adjuster. Open it, and you just literally drag this file into your directory. So make sure you don't do it on a folder. Make sure it's not highlighted like that. Make sure it's off to the side. If you have it, just hit replace. If you don't, it'll just pop up in there. Same thing for the um, packet file. Uh, but you do the two of them straight into your directory. Make sure nothing else is selected. Hit replace if they're in there. And now we're going to have to go to open IV. So I have it right here. Go and double click it. Go to GTA 5 Windows. And if it's your first time loading it up, it'll ask you where your GTA 5 is. And then if your mods folder is outdated, this is where it will say, this is where it says GTA 5 title update. You have an outdated version of your update folder basically so if you do this a pop-up not a big deal just hit copy new version to mods folder hit yes and then you're gonna have to install 
this um, new config, which we're going to open that. We're going to go to the newest version right here. Uh, more mods. So you can do less mods. So if you don't have a bunch of add-ons, you can do that. But for me, I have a bunch of add-ons. So you go here, you pick whatever one you want. You can do default traffic and do one times 0.1, whatever you want. So I'm just going to do this one right here. You go ahead and drag this to your downloads folder. Go back to the README. This is just so you know where to install it. So this says mods update. So mods update. Update RPF. Common. Data. And that's where you put it in here. So you want to drag and drop this into this folder. But you have to hit edit mode. So hit this button. Yes. And just put that right into here. And one way to make sure that it actually went in here is just look for that file. You see it right here. You can see that it doesn't say corrupt. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know that word. I'm sorry about that. But you can see that it's a little, it's different in this line. That means it's new, basically. <laughs> so that's all good there. Now you're going to want to. You see this DLC folder? You want to drag this to your desktop. This will make a copy of it. Go into here and delete it. This is just for the time being. Okay. And then you want to go back to update. So mods, update, uh, x64, DLCs. And then you'll see a bunch of your add-ons. If you know um, what you added on, it's easy to find them. So I have LA Roads and everything else here. And then a bunch of default stuff. So it's easy to figure it out once you... Um, that If you, you install the add-ons, you're going to know what they're called. But when you update your um, update folder, it does replace it in here. So you want to right-click. More options if you're on Windows 11. If not, I'll show you right here. Edit with Notepad. I'll put a link in the description for this also. And then this will just open up what it loads. You can see none of my add ons are here anymore. So basically, you just want to copy right here and paste it. And you want to edit this. So. I have a bunch, so then you just go through this list and add your add-ons, basically. So I'm going to start with this one. Just copy the name. Copy right here and paste. So that's what you do for each and every one. So I'm going to go ahead and time watch this real quick because I do have about 12 add-ons. <laughs> so I'm going to do this real quick and I'll be right back. So once you copy all the all these over so you can see them, they're all right here, starting right here. So you just do it after the recent one. This is the best way to do it. And normally the order doesn't matter either. But I usually keep like if you have EUP, keep those together. But besides that, it usually doesn't matter. But go ahead and just hit that save button or hit file save. So once you save that, just exit out. It'll be on your desktop. Go back to your mods folder. Go to update. Update RPF. Common data. And just drag and drop this into your common data folder. And you'll see it right there. It says compress. So that's good. Then you just want to launch your game. And so I'm going to go ahead and launch the game. And I'll let you know when I get inside. And we'll see if it, see how it goes. <laughs> All right, see you in a minute.
so I loaded into LSPFR, you can see the AI are being done, but you can see my modded cars actually are already working, so that's already a great sign, but the, uh, actually, uh, I hate that button, <laughs> I need to change the key button. We're gonna go on to the trainer V menu, go to added vehicle menu, and you can see all my cars are here. So, this is C, spawn, share, five, yep. Got stuck. Oh, and you can see the lights work like normal. Besides, I need to install my um, uh, graphics mod again. But it is one thing if you have, like, let's say it replaces some of your mods. So my sounds are still here, but I need to install the better lights mod, better, brighter lights mod. So that's a simple thing to do, just drag and drop right where we were, but you can see I really need to. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.